Hey there, this is HFV and today it's Champions League playoff on the menu. It's my local club Ferencvaros from Budapest, Hungary facing BSC Young Boys of Switzerland of the Swiss capital Bern. Well, the first game, the result of the first game was 3-2 for Young Boys. So every chance is actually open for us to turn around, but Young Boys can find themselves in a, in a better position. Well, uh, actually about how we qualified to this against Slavia Prague away we lost 1-0 but that was enough for us to qualify I mean the reaction video about that let's just see it yes there it is come on oh my god we did it Literally one-way traffic in the second half. I mean, if, if they didn't have 20 chances, they had none. It, it was literally, we didn't have the ball. We, we were so lucky, but we were in the playoffs for the second time. After last year. Oh my God, I'm so happy about this. So it's 2-1 on aggregate. And it means, uh, this means next week we play either uh, CFR Cluj of Romania or uh, or BSC Young Boys of Switzerland. So uh, hang on, I'll be I'll joining, uh, join you and... Uh... Oh, amazing, I can't believe it. It's, it's so great, but we were so lucky. I mean, I, if you support a smaller uh, club, you, you've been through all these, but, but I couldn't breathe in the second half. It was crazy, but we are through. So many chances, we didn't have any, only like one chance in the first half and it would have deserved it more to be honest. But the only thing, is, what, what counts, what, what actually happened, they couldn't find the back of the net for the second time and one goal wasn't enough for them. Slavia with a coefficient point of 43 and we have a coefficient point of 13, it, it, it's so great, it means the world actually. Join you for the, for the other game. For the Champions League playoffs, this means that at least Europa League for Ferenc Varos this year. Come on! So this was a reaction of an average fan. <laughs> I went kind of crazy on that day. You just saw it, and later on on that day, it turned out that it's going to be Young Boys of Bern we are going to face in the playoffs because they beat CFR Cluj three one, and the first leg is has already been played, and I made a reaction to that as well. So that's it for today. Young boys won at home 3-2. And if they would have dominated, I would I would have said that it's a great result, but they didn't. And we missed the penalty. We were one person up. They got a red card and after that we missed the penalty. And back then it was 1-1. And then we conceded two goals when we were one more. And then we just could score another one to, to make it 3-2. Well, I'm curious about next week's game and I hope we, we get it back some somehow. So, uh, see you. So, back to today's game. Some basic informations. The reigning champions of Hungary, Ferenc Varos, altogether 32 times champions of Hungary and with this record champions. And they are facing young boys who are the current champions of Switzerland. Of course, that's why they can play in the Champions League. And they were 15 times champions. Of Switzerland. If you want to know some more details and interesting facts about Ferenc Varos, make sure you watch my first video, which was Ferenc Varos against Slavia Prague. Let's have a quick overview about how both teams reached this playoff stage. This is the road of Ferenc Varos. First, we faced a team from Kosovo, FC Pristina, and we won 3 0 and 1 3. So it's 6 1 on aggregate. After that, we faced a team from Lithuania, namely the champions. Jagers, Vilnius, 2-0 and 1-3, so 5-1 on aggregate. And after that, there came a much more dangerous opponent in Slavia Praha. And we won 2-1 on aggregate with a really tense second game. You just saw my reaction. This is the road of young boys. They only had to start from the second round because the Swiss league has a much higher coefficient than 
the Hungarian one. So that's why Ferenc Varos had to start from the first round and Young Boys only from the second round. First day faced a Slovakian team from the capital of Slovan Bratislava, nil nil away and 3-2 at home. So 3-2 on aggregate. And round three, it was CFR Cluj of Romania. 1-1 and 3-1, so it was 4-2 on aggregate. The game starts in two and a half hours. Let's get underway. I hope to see something like this this year as well. So a bit more than one and a half hour to go until the start of the game. And the only year for COVID regulation remaining is that away supporters aren't allowed. The vaccine situation in Hungary allowed actually the full house of, of the home supporters. Yes, I'm really looking forward to it. I don't actually remember the last time when I had to walk so much from my parking spot to the stadium. It's 19.30 and the match starts at 21, so 9 p.m. And well, what I didn't tell you so far is that I'm gonna sit with the Ultras, I always sit with the Ultras, and my season ticket is, is there to that sector. So today it's gonna be that as well. And well, of course they don't like that videos are taken, but I'm gonna take the risk again because because in that case I can broadcast these amazing things and scenes to you. So, uh, oh yeah, I can see there are already many people. Here are some iconic photos of the club's history placed next to the stadium. to go until kickoff and the ultra dress code today is white because they always put on the Facebook page the very dress code of the day so that everybody looks the same and it's gonna be a career as well I'm gonna show you a picture and really bursting to get the game on the way
time it's 2-1 for us which means because of the deleting of the away goal rule it's all square now otherwise we would be front we managed to turn the score around from nail one we considered a really early goal in the fifth minute and i wouldn't have thought that, that we managed it but in the 27th minute it was already 2-1 for us two goals from a corner the first of young boys and the second of ours and the first of ours was from across, actually, the, the keeper came out a bit badly. So, uh, to the rebound, we, we managed from the rebound, we managed to score. It's a really tense game. It's uh, it's tempo. It's it's uh, really high. So I'm I don't know how how long we are going to last. But it, it was it was like an equal. So curious what the second half brings. So we form a bitterly disappointed crowd now, unlike against Slavia. It's 2-3 and 6 for an aggregate for them and it's Europa League for Ferenc Vader this year. But the guys deserve a low dance. 3-2 for the away team and we were knocked out of the Champions League by round 4 qualification. So, the Champions League journey of Ferenc Aros ends here and the Europa League starts. Actually, it's an unusual feeling for me getting knocked out in the playoffs because the last time we qualified for Europe, I was a small child before, of course, before last two years because the previous year we qualified for Champions League and before that for Europa League, but in both cases, we won the playoffs. But now we lost and that means Europa League. I didn't film the red card we got. It was 2-2 back then. And after that we left exposed at the back. So they came through quite many times. And after after all they, they scored the third goal even though they missed the penalty. But to be honest, Young Boys is better than Ferenc Varos right now. Although it hurts a bit to say that, but that's the truth. So they deserve to be in the Champions League this year. The sad thing from our point of view about all this is that in the first game we can take our chances while being one person up and having a penalty and in the second game we couldn't preserve the lead we we got at half time. Today's video was mainly about the game itself but of course you saw some of our support but if you want to see more Watch my first video, which was Ferenc Varos against Slavia. Link below, there are the, the chants 
almost all the chants and also with translation in the comments so make sure you have a look at that if you're interested so guys i want to say a big thank you for watching this i hope you enjoyed it and see you next time